It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button, like hook. Yeah. I read more Marvel than I do. More DC. Marvel than DC. I it's 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 inconsistent. You, it's inconsistent. Like so that would make you so, so yeah, sometimes more it'd be fan. sometimes it'd be more like DC, a lot of DC and no Marvel at all. Mm. And then sometimes it'd be a lot of Marvel and then, very little DC. Alright, so, so it, def- it it depends on what's what's not what's in, because I know that's not what you read comic for, but more or less like, you do follow the waves of what's popular at the moment, so you tune in. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. more of a now they've been releasing issues that's hitting. That, yeah, yeah, that's good. This year they've been releasing issues that's because you're a fan of comics regardless. Yeah, oh, that's yeah and, and right now I feel like. But if you had to like, nigga, if you had to pick a side, like if I had to pick a side, you think more Marvel than DC? I don't know. I don't know. That's hard because they do. They both do things I don't like. They 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 both do a lot of things that I don't like. But I feel like do you got a favorite character? I don't think I have actually that. I do. Um, my uh-huh. favorite character is Daredevil and the Punisher. I think I heard you say that. Now that you say like, it, like Daredevil is is one of my favorite characters. The Punisher is like my all time top favorite character. So I really get I be getting angry mm-hmm. when people will like misinterpret the Punisher. Mm-hmm. I be getting so angry like when they be wearing like his like his shirt like. like but how would they misinterpret it? What would be a misinterpretation? Like so, there's like a lot of military people that just they love his emblem, bro, and I'm and like <laughs> they just be or like I saw a, a police officer one day, and you know how like you got the bulletproof vest, mm-hmm. and then he had like a, a patch of the Punisher skull like right here, like like so, somewhere on on it, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm like what like like that's that's not the context. So I see like big pickup trucks, yeah, because like I'm a mailman in New York City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know that, so I. I so big ass pickup trucks with I saw a big ass pickup truck one day with an American flag on it yeah. and it had a Punisher skull on the window oh, and man. I'm like <laughs> so it, it, it's kind of like contradictory for 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 who Frank Castle is as a person yeah because mm-hmm. like he if he was walking down the street he he wouldn't he'd be like what the fuck like he'd be like, like why, mm-hmm. like don't wear my shit, bro. Like he he would really feel very offended. Now versus whether now you see Captain America, Captain America, if everybody wearing it, like he'd be like, oh yo yo, I see what yeah, you mean. Yeah, 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 yo, yeah, thanks for the support. It bro. don't represent the character at all. What he stands for and what y'all stands for. Yeah, well, Punisher doesn't want. Yeah, he would. No, he's a yeah. That's the that's whole supposed thing. to stand for him. Yeah, all right. It's so, not a gang thing. It's not a team thing. It's not a symbol for most people. This is my symbol. This this is me. Cause I have a specific uh, mission that I'm trying to make yeah. people like, like, understand. like when you see this skull, it's on sight for you, right? Like, like, like that's not like so. I feel like he wouldn't. I don't know. Like, I, I don't think that like a lot of people really, really understand. Like, like it's it's, it's not a political standpoint. It's not like, oh, like you know, he supports the troops. Yada yada yada. This, this, that Frank Castle supported the troops. You know, Frank Castle supported, you know, law enforcement. Like he was a part of that whole thing. Mm, yeah. Frank Castle. And who's the creator of Punisher? Jerry Conway. Oh, okay. Or Jim Shooter. Jerry Conway or Jim Shooter. One of those two. It's crazy to say here how they worked on. Oh, but actually that's Marvel. I'm about to say that you because we were just about to talk about Jim Shooter. I think it was Jerry Conway. It might have been might be Jim Shooter, but <clears throat> one of those two. But, you know, like Frank Castle is like He's the patriotic dude. He went to war, mm-hmm. r- law enforcement, all that shit. Punisher, Frank Castle, two, two different, different people, people, two different outputs, looks on things, and angles on their characters, how they try to create. Yeah, yeah, That's what you mean. yeah. So when Frank Castle died, he came back as the Punisher. Mm, like who came back as the Punisher? No, Frank? Frank Castle. Like like when they killed Frank Castle, mm-hmm. you know, when he was having a picnic with his family. With real life. No, in the comics. Oh, in the comics, I'm bugging. Wait, so Frank Castle... Who's the creator? Frank Castle is, is, is Punisher? the Punisher. Right. Oh, I, he sounds like a creator name. I'm like, but I'm like, I heard that as a character. It's, it's like, it's, I think his real name is like Frank 
Frank Cast Castagnoli. Castagnoli. Okay. He's Italian. Yeah. Okay. I never knew that about Punisher. He's, he's, yeah, he's Italian. Y'all learn things on the same. Italians. Subscribe. Italians. That's your guy right there. Yeah, please subscribe. Man. Yeah. Um. But he's 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 Italian. But the the um. So but but what I'm saying is like when when the mafia killed mm -hmm. Frank Castle. He is no longer Frank Castle anymore. From there on out, he's the Punisher. So, mm, like, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the, the Frank Castle is dead. Punisher is born. Yes, exactly. Got it. So for me, that's what like the skull means. That's like the rebirth of mm, yeah, of, yeah, a, yeah. Of, of somebody that don't got anything to live for other than violence. So that's why when I see people, when I especially when I see cops like wearing that, like, or they don't really wear it anymore, but it's like. Is that when I see it, I be like, I'm crossing the street because yeah. you you wearing it trying to be a badass, but you don't know the symbolization behind the symbol. I've I've read every Punisher comic from the Punisher that when he first had his own series in the mm -hmm. '80s. Mm -hmm. I read that one, Punisher Nam, mm -hmm. uh, Punisher Max, Punisher Warzone, mm -hmm. but like the mainline Punisher. I seen Punisher when he became Frankenstein, mm -hmm. Ghost Rider, okay. War Machine. Leader of the hand, like I've I've been yeah, there. Yeah, you've for been it all. his whole career. You know his whole career. Yeah, that's so, fine though. I ain't glad it's good shit because even for me, I don't know Batman's whole thing. I just I I pick up what I watched, what I seen, what I read, and I put it under one brand, Batman. I don't even like separate them too much. It's now that I'm older and I'm starting to see the difference. Like, oh, alright, this is yeah. But even Batman, like that shit, like that's becoming that's it's, it's easy for me to follow. Characters like Punisher and and Daredevil because it's just it's one shot it's one boom Punisher from the eighties all the way till mm -hmm. now now DC they got Detective Comics Batman mm -hmm. Batman Rebirth mm -hmm. uh, they got Batman White Knight they got ba like yeah. it's, it's so many different storylines at once going bro, and building yeah. different. Continuities going yeah, on yeah. at once. They got Shit. Frank Miller Batman. They got I'm like, bro, like this is just see? so that's why I don't even because you have to really be deep in it to understand it like that. I don't yeah. see for me. I mean, a, I would be considered a casual in the whole comic world. I'm excel more in movies and live action. Yeah, because and shit. that's e and like, cartoons. Because because there's a starting point that you could follow, right? Mm -hmm. You can't follow 80 years of like if you wanted to start <laughs> from you got to choose a point to start from. And, and it can't be too back, basically. Yeah, but but that's what turns people away from American comics because they don't even know like where to start. Like I, it's true. There's no there's no guideline. There's no chart to tell you in in the comic world where to start. Exactly. You have to know somebody. Exactly. Anybody? <laughs> Yo, where do I start, bro? And you know, I dated a lot of girls that wanted to get into it, mm -hmm. but they were like, nah, like, you know, like uh, it's, it's so it's difficult a, yeah. for me to. And then they more like anime manga readers mm -hmm. and then they're like oh yeah but this is more easier but they haven't you know and then they got naruto dragon ball z um one piece and shit like that but and it's easier for people to get into that because they haven't been around for 80 years nearly mm -hmm. 100 years mm -hmm. could you imagine so now like we're gonna see a time where 30 years from now naruto is still running yeah and then you know our i don't know Grandchildren are our age, and they're like, "Nah, I can't get into that yeah, shit, bro." Yeah, so like, far in, like, like yo, I don't like, know where to begin. <laughs> so much different shit. He yeah. has the baby one. It has the one where he's in his youth. Oh, is that canon? Like, nah. See, that's why you got. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah. So, like, that's gonna happen soon, you know. But I kind of, um, you know, but with, with Batman, like, there's so many good Batman stories that aren't really related to like anything at all. You know, but with Punisher, it's just straight, like, boom, Punisher. I mean, unless you want to do Punisher Max. Mm -hmm. But even the dude who created The Boys, mm -hmm. he wrote Punisher stories, too. Oh, okay. Makes and, sense. And those were, like, the best. Over? In, yeah, <laughs> ever. That's fine. When you know, like, damn. That's like seeing a director do a, a certain IP. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I can't wait because I know how he does movies, and I know I love this character, so can't wait. Exactly. So yeah. it, it's kind of like that. Like, you get certain people, like, the dude who's... Writing Daredevil right now, he's also writing Batman. He did the um, the failsafe 
Uh, oh, story. okay, yeah, yeah. Yo, so, I love Failsafe. Check out Failsafe. Uh, Batman Failsafe is like one of the newest issues. Oh, when he when he fell from when Failsafe oh, chased him into space. And he fell from the moon. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was that was a little over the top, but that's exactly <laughs> what Batman fans like. Like we we love stuff like that because that's he would do something like that if anybody could that can't do it. It's Batman. Like he's the only one because he has an excuse for everything, like a reason why that's possible. Like he had to, he had to explain it as soon as he fell. Like luckily, my well, he's <laughs> he's not talking to my, nobody. My, nobody's my there. Pump and I had this ready. Yeah, nobody's that. there. He's but talking I to himself. I expected the altitude and the ladder to try to press the. And I'm like, yeah, I like that as a Batman fan. It was like, damn, my son could really do anything. Like you know, he just pushes that needle for us always. Like yo, Batman could do anything, bro. He at first I was like, this is stupid, but then I had to reel it back because yeah. I was like. This is a comic book. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this is a comic. It's supposed to be. And then when I went to the comments, everybody was complaining about that. So you knew you wasn't alone with that. <laughs> no, no, but I wasn't alone with this. Somebody replied and had a mad likes. And then the dude was like, yo, this is a comic book, bro. And then you realized. Like, like, like you need comic. Like, book this shit, is comic yeah, yeah. book shit. Like, yeah. That is the epitome of comic book stuff. Yeah. Him falling from the moon, basically, and through Earth atmosphere burning up, but his, his cape is strong enough. To withstand it and secure him that he won't get killed or injured. It, That's ridiculous. He walked away literally with mad holes and in then, his And then Failsafe came out of the scene. <laughs> Yo, that ass, he's looking for him. Like, but you know what that reminded me of? That kind of me, that kind of reminded me of like Terminator, Terminator for 1. Sure. For where sure. he was trying to kill Sarah Connor and then he, he wouldn't. He wouldn't stop. It's just like he's coming, he keeps coming after you and it's like, damn, this is more than I can handle. So like. I can't even be have an encounter with this person. I can't even see them because when I see them, it's on sight and I can't do nothing with it. It felt like that. It was fire too for me because that's just like, damn, Batman would do something like that. Make a alternate. Man, make a robot. He made an alternate. No, but what really happened was because he made the um, alternate personality in himself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he ever is emotionally I, I, compromised. I I, I, yeah, if he ever, I never read that Yeah, story. if he's ever emotionally compromised, he made a... a split personality within himself that would be strong enough mentally to make the decisions that Bruce Wayne wouldn't. Or alter ego, and it kicks What's in at like those moments. Zara, Zara. I don't even remember the name, but I remember but they did have a name for it, but I don't remember. But I know he, that's what kicked in for him. And when he was kicked in on that one day, he made failsafe. So Bruce, when he took back over, he don't know what the other personality is doing, and he had no idea that so failsafe existed. So that's why it was more like he was like, "Who the fuck made this?" And then when he finally realized, he was like, "Oh, shit, I'm in trouble." I, I made this. This is OD. Did you did you finish it? I don't know if the version I f- read was the whole thing. I seen matter of fact, I remember now. I had an audio. I had the audio version. I don't know if they explained literally the whole like or left things out. So I didn't verbatim read it. But well, so, but it was so, popping it up on screen. I was pausing and reading what I can. He was saying so it. So they shot him with the um with the with the ray gun and then it transported him to like another multiverse. Right, right, right. And that's how he um they got rid of him. They didn't defeat him at all then. No, nah, no, he, nah, he's still there. He what what's the word for it when you when you um beat somebody up dramatically? You uh not totally dumb. Incapacitated? No, nah, it was like a regular word, but he beat up Superman twice, that's what I'm getting. Like he Oh white, yeah, no, Superman yeah, clean yeah. twice. Like he did as Yo no, yeah, he yeah. Mm, that was cool. He he used kryptonite but it was the way. It's always the way you use kryptonite. It's not that you use kryptonite, right? For me, yeah, that's what he stabbed him in the chest mm-hmm. with it. With it, like mm-hmm. it was cool seeing it. Him leaking and shit. Like Superman can't even do nothing. This nigga's a well. It's pro. It's programmed by Batman. Yeah. So, so he Batman had all the do- know all the data on how to beat Superman or anyone else. Yeah. It had contingency plans. In it. it was. It was like Ultron on drugs, like a Batman Ultron that's that knows psycho. everything yeah, about yeah, yeah. everyone and knows exactly what he. There's no compromising there. He had to swindle this shit and send, like you said, send it to the universe. I forgot about that part. I forgot the ending. And then there's the Detective Comics one that I hear is good, but I haven't, I haven't been reading it, to be honest. Yeah? Nah, I don't know. I got this um, website that I um, discovered when I was looking for Civil War 2015. And they got all of the comics on it. But you know which one is for good? free? Sean, Sean okay. Murphy. He's, he's been... Rising? His, his Batman universe is getting... The most is making the most noise out of all of them. Mm. Um, Sean Murphy, he did. Uh, it's called the White Knight Universe. Okay. Where Joker <clears throat> essentially becomes cured mm. of uh, being the Joker, and then he uh, runs runs for Gotham Mayor. Mm. 
That's yeah. different. That's and a different twist on Joker. Yeah. So then he be, he's like a normal dude, like a regular but, but dude. But Batman don't trust him. No, of course not. <laughs> like, <laughs> Batman's of course like, yeah, not. not you, bro. And then he convinced everybody that Batman is uh, the problem. He, that's cool and all, just to see it from that, from tell through Batman, right, and all that. But that's literally like becoming president. Wait, that's Luther? public enemy. That's yeah. literally public enemy. But Joker and Batman instead of Luke. Like Luthor and Superman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it works. But I'm saying it does course because it, you got different stuff to play with in there because it's Joker and it's Batman. It's way different elements than Superman and Lex. So I get it. It can work without sounding like a copy. Like, but for me, hearing it, I'm like, wow, that's the same. It's, it's, it's pretty good though. Mm-hmm. Like, like it's, I'll, I'll, I'll it's, see if I find the audio on it. That's my way of doing things. I found the audio on YouTube. Comics Explained. <clears throat> Excuse me. Comic, comics Explained. That's my guy. He, he be on it. You ever seen him? Yeah, with course, the glasses. Yeah, he's, he's the goat. He's the goat. Well, I mean... Mm. I've, I've never I sent him uh, my Hulk movie hoping he'll watch it on you, on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> he ain't opening it up though <laughs> hopefully one day he going through his DMs and be like hmm. I think he's from like Kansas City or something mm-hmm. or something oh, like he's some... I want to wrap this one up I want to do a, one asking you about the new DC slate I think I think mm. I'm most excited well, wait hold on save it for the next year oh, okay so y'all heard it here smash the like button like Hulk please subscribe we are the assemblers I am Sluggy I'm Jay until next time, I'm punching time. the air. It's about that time. time, time. Assemble and talk. talk, talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You thinking you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button like hope. Yeah.